Hey all, Chris Bassett here, and I'm gonna be doing the install of the 12-inch Amplified Terminator subwoofer uh, with the install kit. Let's get into it. So right out of the box, here's your subs. Um, I take them and stick them in the trunk so that they're facing out the back of the trunk towards you. That way you can reach the connection. And here's your amp. Probably the best location to put it would be if you fold down the back seats, you can secure it to the back of the seat. Just make sure that you can fold the seats back into place when you're done. Here's a very basic wiring diagram they put with the kit. It's helpful. Here I've unboxed the kit and labeled a lot of the parts. Uh, feel free to pause the video if you need to refer back to what parts are what. Alrighty, so here I've opened the hood and you can see the engine. Um, we're doing an install on a 2003 Monte Carlo. So there's the positive connection on the battery. And you want to make sure the fuse is within a few inches of the positive connection to the battery. It'll reduce the chance of a fire. So here's the back of our subs. Red is positive, black is negative. Um, you want to hook up the speaker wires from the sub and go to the amp. You want to make sure that the, both positives are on the same connection as well as both negatives. Otherwise you won't hear any sound. Um, so here's the amp up close. You can see I've connected the speaker wires correctly. So positive to positive, negative to negative. Um, I'm gonna pause right here and label these wires that you can see in the frame. So this is going to be your power wire, your ground wire, and your remote turn on wire. The red wires go into the positive terminal on the battery. The remote wires go into your stereo. If you don't have that hooked up correctly, you will drain the battery. And the black wire is the ground. You can see I've grounded the amp to the metal part of the back seat. Um, I just took like a sheet metal screw, uh, scraped away some of the paint, and then drilled that in so that way it properly grounds the electrical system. And then over here on the right side of the amp is your RCA inputs. Um, that goes to your aftermarket stereo. So you'll run those up and you'll also see corresponding red and black inputs on the back of your stereo. You can run those cords up along the side of the car and then tuck it under a piece of trim so you really can't see it. You don't want to have people stepping on it because it could damage the wires and the connections. So here I'm just going to kind of go slowly around the amp. You can pause it and see how different wires are connected. Um, yeah, for the most part, the setup's pretty easy once you get it installed in the back and then you have all your wires connected. You could use the, the hardware that they give you, uh, but you don't really need to. I mean, I did use some of the wire strippers that I bought from Amazon to help with this project, and that was pretty useful. So traveling up to the front of the car, you'll need to hook up your RCA inputs to the back of your stereo, as well as your remote turn-on wire. I wanna say most remote turn-on wires are blue, so you'll just need to use a wire nut and connect that to the existing blue wire behind your stereo. Uh, RCA inputs are pretty easy. It's generally a white and red or black and white plug-in, so that's pretty simple to figure out. I'm going to put tools down in the description that I used to complete this job. And if any of this was helpful, like and subscribe. Thanks.